Paris, Reuters, France and the United States are determined to a euro evigorous lie a euro raise pressure on Iran over its ballistic missile program, including possibly through sanctions, Foreign Minister Jean-Yves L.E. Dryan said during a visit to Washington. L.E. Dryan was in the American capital on Monday to meet U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson, White House National Security Advisor H.R. McMaster and U.S. President Donald Trump a Euro trademark S. Special Advisor Jared Kushner. Tensions between Iran and France have risen in recent months with both sides repeatedly trading barbs in public, including L.E. Dryan accusing Iran of a Euro-hegemonic temptation sa Euro in the region. Iran on Sunday criticized President Emmanuel Macron over his tough stance toward Tehran and said Paris would soon lose its international credibility if it a euro or a blindly follow sa euro U.S. President Donald Trump. A euro or f a didn't a euro trademark t like the word, but I stand by it a euro le Dryan told reporters. A euro or a Iran a euro trademark s hegemonic temptations in the region is a matter of urgency because eat a euro trademark s within the framework of getting peace in Iraq and Syria that we will stop this process a euro. Iranian officials have been particularly aggrieved by France a euro trademark s criticism of its ballistic missile tests and suggestions of possible new sanctions over the program, which Tehran calls solely defensive in nature. L.E. Dryan who is due in Iran at the beginning of January, said he would tell them clearly of Paris a Euro trademark concerns. A Euro we are fully determined to press very vigorously on Iran to stop the development of an increasingly significant ballistic capability a Euro OEA Euro LE Dryan said, reiterating that sanctions were possible. Macron, unlike Trump, has reaffirmed his country a Euro trademark s commitment to the deal Iran signed in 2015 with world powers under which it curbed its disputed nuclear program in exchange for the lifting of most international sanctions. After talks with the US officials, L.E. Dryan said he believed that Washington was beginning to understand European messages on the need to maintain the accord.